Hi everyone, this is just my little vlog to go alongside my makeup look which I've just done and it should be uploading either now or before, whatever. But anyway, um, right, this is just a catch up because I feel like I haven't been on for a while, in fact I haven't. I think my last video was about a week ago. Now this week has been chock a block with stuff happening. Stuff that has been good, stuff that's been horrible. And one of the reasons I didn't come on, I had I had a video planned, I was going to do makeup lucky dip and go diving about four four days ago now but well as you know I have Pomeranian puppies and I, I breed Pomeranians and we had to let some of them go to their new homes and their homes are fabulous now, I'm not worried about that at all but letting them go is still hard and there was one little boy in particular we made a little video for him he's called Ollie and he's a little black Pomeranian and he had a white paw a white chin and a bit of white fluff on his chest right and he had a little sister called Celia. Celia found a lovely home and she lives 40 minutes away so I'm happy about that. But Ollie has gone all the way down to Kent. He's got a nice family but I didn't want to give him away. I just wanted to keep him right. And I couldn't because he's he's going to be too big to either use as a stud or to show him. So I couldn't. It was stupid. And I kept racking my brains thinking of ways how I could just fit him into my programme and just keep him anyway. But we've got loads of dogs and loads of pets and and they all grow up and I know he's a boy and if you don't get them neutered they get ratty unless you're using them as stud and stuff like that. And, and so I had to keep telling myself in my head, no you're doing the right thing, find him a nice little home. So he's got a lovely home with some children and but it's all the way in Kent so I probably won't get to see him. And they're going to send us some photos, I told everyone to keep in touch. And on all the contracts I sell with me puppies, you have to bring the dog back to me if you can't keep it for whatever reason. Because I'd, I'd hate the thought of them going elsewhere and or in homes and rescue places and stuff. And I, So they have to come back to me. But he took him, he loved him, and the family loved him. But I wanted to keep him, I didn't want to let him go. And when he went, I couldn't stop crying the whole day. I just, so sensitive. Everything was just set us off. I could not get him out of my head. And it was horrible. And I went for a walk with one of the dogs, well, two of the dogs, Luke and Chi Chi. And I took them for a really long walk this time, longer than I've ever walked before. I just, you know, when you feel like you need to just clear your head. I was in a right state, honestly, it was horrible. And I hate this part of breeding, having to let them go. I just hate it. I do not like it at all. Because I get so bonded with the little buggers. And I know I shouldn't. But it's so hard because when you're looking after them and you've raised them from puppies and and by eight weeks you see all the little personalities unravel and uh, it, it's it's absolutely horrible but I love having puppies around as well so it's like it, I get I get really insulted when people are horrible the people who breed I know there's some people out there that just do it wrong and unethical and all that but I get really agitated and you know annoyed when people are rude to people who breed puppies because people do want puppies all the time Sometimes their home life may not be appropriate for a dog that the, nobody knows the history of or it's big or it could attack. Just You just don't know. And some people just want a little puppy from being young. And and so, anyway, it's, it's hard. It's horrible. And it's harder than I ever thought it was going to be. I was in a right state. I'm, I'm okay now, but when I think of them, and I can't watch the video with them in because we took some video footage of them all before they went with any homes. Um... And I, I kind of watch it. I keep seeing like it on me likes and my YouTube, and it just makes us feel awful. But anyway, uh, anyway, right. So little Ollie went, little Celia went, and we got and little Kojak got his new home yesterday. Went home with a lovely couple, and they live in Kensington. And so he's going to be walking around picking up leaves in Hyde Park. So I'm really chuffed. I couldn't be happier with the homes for them all. They're going to get spoiled rotten, I know, but it still doesn't. It doesn't make the heart feel better. But Anyway, so that's been why I wasn't on video, because you should have seen the state of my face. My eyes were so puffy and red and raw. I was so sore. I, kept wiping. I was getting angry in the end. I just couldn't stop crying. And, and um, yeah, so it looked disgusting. And even after a good night's sleep, I woke up the next day. I looked like I'd been in a fight. There was just no way I could have done a video for years, even though I wanted to. Because you would have been thinking, Lauren, what on earth have you done to your eyes? <laughs> but so, anyway, I feel okay now, so I can talk to you about it. So, oh, me, me, little, me little Ollie went, and that really bugged us. But, anyway, 
on a lighter note, this is something that happened the week before maybe, or even at the start of the week. I went into Topshop to get some new leggings because I, I go through leggings like nobody's business around here because the dogs just scratch at you and you end up with like a, a hole on your knee and you're like, oh, right. And then you end up just, they get so washed and bubbly and so I always get me black leggings from Topshop. I don't know why, but they fit nice. And I thought, right, ooh, look, there's some lovely looking jeans. And they were like, um, they were really good quality black, like skinny jean and they were lush. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to have a look. And they didn't have a size 16, so that annoyed us. But then I thought, you know what, I'm just going to try a 14. So I took them into the changing room and they slid on. And I was like, what? So I'm in a 14 top chop skinny jean. I couldn't believe it. I don't think I've fit in a 14 since what? Hang on, I'm 30, heading to 31 now. <laughs> um, I didn't fit in a didn't fit in a 14 since God, school. I'm not kidding. School. I've been a 16 as long as I can remember. And even then, I was never even a Topshop small 16 because they're not big 16s at Topshop. I was like just about getting me leg into the 16s at Topshop. So I'm over the moon about that. Then I tried this coat on. I saw this lush coat. And it was it's like a it's like a navy duffel coat with the, the buckle like the oh, I don't know, I'll have to show you. But it's gorgeous. And then like a cream fluffy collar. It's all fake fur and all that kind of stuff. I don't like real fur. But it, they didn't have my size. Again, 16. Except I'm usually a 16 on the top and a 16 on the bottom. So they didn't have a 14 either. They had a 12. So I thought, oh well, let's have a try. <laughs> it's funny. Tried it on. It fit. I couldn't believe it. I was screaming to my boyfriend in the shop. I was like... <laughs> couldn't believe I was in a 12 cord from Topshop. Topshop of all places where I'm sure I'd take the size down a little bit, you know. But anyway, so I was dead chuffed with that. And then I went back the other day to get some new tops. And I got some tops from Warehouse and from Dorothy Perkins. And I got an, a little leather jacket because I love leather jackets. And it's got like a grey, white fur, fake fur again on the collar. But I loved it. And it was a size 14. The tops were a size 14. I couldn't believe it. So I don't know what on earth I've done. I think it's just keeping off the chocolate. Although I've been very naughty lately. Feeling very depressed and stressed and upset. So I had some chocolate in the house and I shouldn't have done. But at least I've understood that I need to stop it. So I'm going to get my apples back in and eat them. Because I'm good at that. And I drink plenty of coconut water. I love coconut water. It, I don't get headaches as much with it. It's funny enough. And anyway... The, I could go on and on and on about stuff like that. I think I take after my mum, even though I hate that about my mum. She'll yap and yap and yap about food and, and what she's been drinking, what she's going to eat next week and what she's going to, what she ate last night and all that. And I hate it. I'm like, oh, why well, do I want to hear what you've been eating? But then I find myself doing it and I think, right, stop it now. Because I, I don't know. It's just not nice. It really isn't nice. So I've got to stop it. But anyway, so... I've dropped a dress size or two and I'm really chuffed about it because honestly I've been so 16 for as long as I can remember and always fitting into things that didn't really look good because I find when you buy a size 16 jeans anyway they give you this huge arse like extra extra material but my bum is actually I'm, I'm quite straight I don't really have a nice little waist. I'm, I'm like I call myself built like a man, um. So I don't have the bum, the lady bum shape, and I'm so jealous of a lady bum shape. I don't have that. And I'm not going to show you because it's horrible. But I don't like. I like. I don't like being straight up and down. I like to have a bit of a curve, but I don't feel like I've got one. And whenever I get a size 16 for the waist, they give you this huge expansion material on the bum, and it just doesn't fit. It looks weird on me. So I was always having to like make do with weird shaped jeans just that way when I fit. But anyway, I'm over the moon. I love skinny jeans. Now all I need to do is get some more little pumps. They're called pumps. I don't like the word pump because it sounds like you've pumped. But, you know, like flats, that's it, flats. I need some flats because all the flats I've got, I've used them around the house like slippers and they're just not good. They're not good. They're full of like dog, dog muck garden muck and you 
kind of go out the house in them. So I need to get some new flats. There you go. What else? There was something else. <sighs> Hope I can remember it. I've got another autumn look coming up. Oh, I did me nails. Please forgive the silence. I ah, just, my brain, it's terrible. So I did me nails look, black with spotties. I called them smarties. The last nails I did were studded. I called them studded. They were just black with um, like a silver, silver gold dot. I'm using me dot pen and I bought some nail tape. Tiny little ribbon tape you stick on and you can make designs. So I bought some of that because I, I get so bored on the night time and I love getting creative and stuff and I kind of keep chucking videos out there for you because you'll be like, not another one but you know, and all my art's been packed away and mm, anyway so I'm going to be doing some nail stuff but I don't know if I'll film it I'll see how I feel, it's very hard to get the angles right and the light right I've just about managed to get the face lit up enough for you to see but anyway, I'm going to go because otherwise this video is just going to go on and on and you will be getting bored, I know. You are dead polite and you are like, oh Lauren, we don't mind listening to you talk. But I know people are like, come on, I've got to get the tea on, the kids are starving. So right, I'll see you all in a bit. Zoom, zoom. <laughs>